What's going on people, Henry here, back to you guys again with another fragrance review. A couple of days ago, I was going through a testing phase for this fragrance here that I was going to make or upload a video about. And today, I just thought it's actually a perfect day to come out and then say a little bit about it, my experience with it, and also what I think of this fragrance. This is a Middle Eastern house that is called Alt al zafran a little bit of a longer name like i said before i'm always struggling with this uh you know middle eastern names because they're just not my you know i think you know what i mean if you are a perfume person you know exactly what i mean so they've got some nice perfumes but some of them are trying to use really usable words and some of them are just using what they know what to use and they're giving it to us but some of the fragrances are really nice, so we can't, we can't deny it. We have to talk about it. But anyway, I'm going to talk about Tara. Tara Al Oud. Tara Al Oud. It comes, to, comes inside this bottle. It's completely gloss. Everything is gloss. And it's got a magnetic cup in there. Everything sits in place. And yeah, I think it's actually really good or nicely made but there is some writing onto it i don't know what it means if somebody knows what this means please write in the comment down below and so that we know also what it is all about maybe it's actually the name of the fragrance but i'm not sure i don't speak arabic but i know there's my brothers and sisters out there that actually do speak the language so if you know about this fragrance i'm just going to put all the names inside there look it up check out what the names or what this writing on top means and you know just teach us a little bit because i'm also here to learn and like everybody else but anyway guys i've got the dry down already onto my testers strip what i call tester strip just cutting off some papers there at the back you know making my own stuff here so i've got this on my tester strip Ah, and I'm just going to also spray for you guys to see the atomizer, how it comes. Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> this is like really AMG style Pff, gas. It's too much. It's coming out like crazy. Atomizer is over the moon. Jesus. Well, good, good. Well, that's a good one. But anyway, before I talk about it, I'm just going to go through the knot breakdown. From this perfume so we know what we are dealing with so anyway cardamom that is a top knot we've got roses we've got vanilla we've got spices and powdery knots okay and then in the best knot now in the middle on knot we've got incense we've got sandalwood we've got uh, woody knots and we've got roses again so we are already in business with roses and then the the, the best knot is a leather amber and musk <laughs> ah guys now every time i smell this i just think that i am somewhere into a boneyard now the clock is actually ticking it's 12 o'clock so it's gonna make some noises for a long time i think but bear with me St just stick around guys so what i smell here is completely boneyard type of smell woody uh, spices and aromatic and heavy heavy roses like it's heavy it completes everything from roses like if you think about roses think about roses with in the dark so if you go outside you've got some roses outside your yard or your place your flat go outside during the dark and try to imagine the roses in this time like these are the type of roses that you get from here it is completely woody like a poor the woods that are here are so rich that you are Whew. i don't know what to express how to express this fragrance but it's just really everything i mean it's also got some wood i think they're not talking about the wood into this but it's really got some wood at the back back side of the fragrance there's some wood coming out of crippling from somewhere and then showing off here and there but it is really a beginner friendly type of wood so it is not really pungent it is there in your face 
because this fragrance is really actually a projection beast like it projects whew, far away really far away so we are going during or inside not uh, the the winter time zondan we are going towards the summer so we are going completely into spring now so i would advise that you you would quickly try to use this before the cold really goes away because i think this is preferably better for the cold uh, in the heat i don't know how it performs i don't know if i'm gonna have to choke some people up people are gonna call police and then i don't know what they will try to report i feel sorry for them but whatever it is but anyway what i'm saying is that this fragrance is for winter please winter time comes organize this organize this this is over the moon over the moon oh man this is really beautiful it is beautiful it is nice it is heavy it is dense it is luxurious it is animalic oh man you need to have like a leather jacket on a really big leather jacket with some furs or i don't know some something going on there but it has to be a big leather jacket it must be cold and you must be in the mood to go out take a walk or whatever go to the city do something with your life whatever and then use this fragrance guys this is such a nice fragrance i don't even know why people are not talking about this like what the hell is going on out there guys we can do better than this we can do better than not talk about something like this i mean it's going abroad for 45 euros during the in, on the internet and stuff so it is actually not that expensive it is a f yeah excuse my camera because it just went off because i was getting hot now to talk about this fragrance but anyway now we're back but anyway guys like i said before animalic dense rosy woody spices and some powdery i mean there's this powdery note that comes in there that makes it really um i think that's where the density comes from because this powdery note makes it actually heavy for you to actually smell it smell it smell it and go to the moon i don't know what you have to do but do something oh man Ah, really nice and there's also a little bit of type of you know this vix i don't know if you know this whenever somebody's i don't know having a cough or whatever when we, we used to be kids you know mother used to come and put some vix on your chest and they rub it off you have this minty type of uh, you know smell in there but mixed with the woody aromatic roses madness complete madness oh man ah nice this is really nice i really like it i really like it 45 euros guys 45 euros nothing to complain nothing to explain like i said nothing to complain and nothing to explain but please with caution this is only for the winter time use it during the winter i think during the winter it's such a good performer but anyway who cares use it during the summer just mess it up i don't really care use it during the summer as well i give you the permission to use it during the summer wow. guys i'm really impressed with this fragrance but like i said really masculine really for real men i'm not you know something to do with women no 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 i don't think women was gonna like it are gonna like it but all i'm just saying is that you have to have balls for you to pull this off like seriously is that aggressive oh it's a nice fragrance i like it out of 10 let me say 10 out of 10 i'm gonna give it about eight out of ten and if you have an eight out of ten from me it means quite a lot it's not here a joke so it is actually an impressive fragrance i like it i like it do i recommend it to you guys i would say that you would try it i don't know if you can go to the store and then try this on 
because not a lot of people have this but also a lot of people also not talking about it so that's why maybe it's not really everywhere but i am the first one i guess starting with this talking about it and i think that i won't be the last once people start putting them getting their nose onto this thing in here i think it's complete hell way like it's going really nice fragrance guys um yeah so that's my take onto this fragrance the name is tara al oud from the house of art al zafran really impressed from this fragrance and i'm actually really happy to actually produce this video for you guys yeah that's all uh, that's all a little bit about it and yeah guys you know the story subscribe you know put your comments what do you guys think if you have any experience with this guys i would like to know i would like to know what the hell thank you for watching guys see you guys next time ciao